Hello everyone, how are you? It's been a hot minute. I don't really have anything to report as far as my weight. As far as I know, it's about the same. I don't know. I didn't weigh myself. I haven't in a while. Today is Monday, the 24th of May. And it would have been my 30th wedding anniversary. And I am trying so hard not to let it bother me, but it is. I still have anger and bitterness towards my ex. I still feel like so much has been unfair. I'm struggling with believing in God now. I mean, I don't think I've struggled with faith like this in a while. It's like, and then tomorrow is my birthday. I'm going to be 50. I'm not anywhere near where I thought I might be approaching 50. I know they say everybody deserves happiness. And maybe I'm wrong for thinking this way, but... My ex is happy, I guess that's good, but sometimes I wish that he would get a broken heart, have his heart shattered and be cheated on or something. Have you ever heard that so that song I Hope by Gabby Barrett? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of how I feel at times. I'm so glad that I wasn't able to get married on my birthday because that would have totally ruined my birthday being that the marriage didn't last. And I know I'm better off without him. I know that, my brain knows that. Even my heart knows that. But it's hard because I've struggled in so many ways. It's hard to accept that he was able to do bankruptcy. He was able to have his truck loan discharged. He was able to go out and buy a new toy, you know, an expensive toy. He has all his debt discharged so he doesn't have to pay for it. And I was not able to do any of that. And it, I'm the one that lost the house because just a couple months before my marriage ended, my longtime 28 year career also ended. So I was hit twice with two major life events and since both of those events <laughs> life has been tough and yes I should be grateful for what I do have and I am but I can't help feel heartbroken and bitter I just I can't help it sometimes I get overwhelmed with those feelings sometimes I say what is wrong with me what was so wrong with me what did I do why doesn't anybody want to be with me, why haven't I found anyone? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready for a relationship, like I'm ready to move on, but I don't have anyone. 
And the ones that do say they love me are either in prison, I know, right? Or they're in a different country. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's just... Uh, I haven't found anyone locally that seems like my type, you know? What is my type? I guess I don't even know. Maybe that's the problem. I just wanted to vent a little bit because I needed to. I had to get this off my chest. Um, today is much more difficult than I anticipated it would be. You would think three years later after divorce that it wouldn't bother me so much. But it is. <laughs> it is. I just... I don't know. By the way, I don't know if you know, I can't remember when the last time I did a video was, but I did stop working in the pharmacy. The pain in my feet and in my knees was overwhelming and I could barely walk. I couldn't even stand the four hour shift. So it was a bad choice on my part because I quit and unemployment frowns on that. So I don't qualify for unemployment. So I have no income at the moment. So, once again, I'm actually struggling a lot. <laughs> it's, ugh. So, I don't know. Part of me is considering applying for disability again. I did fill out some paperwork for a place called Michigan Rehab. And apparently they try to help you find work that you can do. I don't know. I haven't heard back from them since mailing in my paperwork. So we'll see. Um, oh my goodness. Sorry, I just felt something on my ear and I've developed like eczema or something lately. And I've got a few spots on my arms and by my ear. Craziness. Anyway. That's it. I'll keep it short. Thanks for listening, and I will talk to you later. Peace. Bye-bye.